Training a multi-palm is something you need to do every day, indeed several times a day. This isn't as onerous as it sounds. Simply make the dog work before he gets his meals, goes for a walk, and have him continue basic training exercises on his walks. Another great idea is to do a few sit and looks during the ad breaks when you're watching TV, so you can use dead time to train the dog. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. In addition, it's helpful to have tasty bite-sized treats. Not too big, mind. You don't want the pup to spend ages eating, a pouch or bag in which to keep treats handy, a favorite toy or something the dog enjoys that he will work for, a collar or harness, and leash, a quiet distraction-free place in which to start training. The dog's eye view method. Step 1. Understand the challenges. A multipom is a small dog and the height difference between you and the dog can be a challenge. The dog will find you intimidating if you bark commands while towering over him, but if you bend down your back is going to suffer. Simple things such as realizing this and taking steps to be less intimidating can make a big difference. And indeed it's always good to think of how the dog perceives what's going on and ways to improve the interaction. Step 2 on a dog's level. Aim to work on a level with the dog. One obvious option is to sit on the floor with the dog and train that way. Alternatively, raise the dog up to your height by placing him on a table. With the latter, place a non-slip mat or towel over the tabletop so he feels secure and never leave him unsupervised for fear he falls. Step 3 Avoid Inconsistency Multipoms are intelligent dogs and love to test boundaries. Training will go more smoothly if you are consistent about the rules. For example, if the rule is, no dog on the sofa, and you enforce this during the week. But allow the dog up for a snuggle at the weekend then he'll get confused, and chose the option he prefers, jumping on the sofa. The do's and don'ts method. Step 1 Don't. Push the dogs back. Older training methods suggest pressing down on the dog's haunches to teach him to sit. Do not do this, especially with a multipom. They have small delicate bones and you may unwittingly hurt him. Step 2 Do. Get everyone on board. Make sure all family members understand the commands and the house rules for the dog. It's no good one person saying, down, while another says, drop, and a third, lie. This is hopelessly confusing for the dog. If necessary, write a cheat sheet of the dog's commands and stick it onto the fridge so everyone becomes familiar with them. Step 3 Don't. Punish the dog. Never smack or yell at the dog, even when he's naughty. This will only make him wary of you, rather than linking the punishment to the crime. Instead, if you catch him in the act say a stern, no, and then distract him away from the naughtiness. The Potty Training Method Step 1 Get to Grips With the basics a small dog has a small bladder which means small puddles. Thus it may be tempting to turn a blind eye to the odd accident in the house, especially if you've heard that small dogs are more difficult to potty train. However, cutting the dog some slack in this way is asking for long-term problems, which are entirely avoidable with a little know-how and dedication in the early days of taking on a multipom. Step 2 Prevent Accidents Piddling in the wrong place is habit-forming. Get ahead of the game by preventing the dog from peeing where he shouldn't. This means watching the dog at all times and popping him in a crate for those times when you can't be with him. Keep him on a leash attached to your wrist when he's free. 
Be vigilant for telltale signs of wanting to toilet such as sniffing or sidling up to furniture. Take him straight outside. Step 3 Praise. Peas in the right place pop the dog out to your desired doggy toilet spot. Keep him on the leash and ignore him so that he can't wander off and concentrates on the job. When he does pee or poop, praise him and then give a treat when he's finished. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.